will demonstrate the method of performing a PC-run molecular detection reaction using a heat block and DNA extracted by the PC-run DNA rapid extraction method. We will use the PC-run molecular detection kit designed for testing of canine ehrlichiosis. However, the same principles apply for most of the PC-run molecular detection kits. We will employ DNA extracted from canine whole blood. The kit contains all the disposable components required for performing an easy and accurate test. The equipment to be supplied by the user includes Prior to performing the PC run procedures, a suitable work area which has been decontaminated with diluted commercial household bleach must be prepared. Switch on the heat block and adjust it to the target temperature. In this case, we will adjust the temperature to 60 degrees. Once the block has reached the target temperature, continue with the reaction. Remove the PC run strip from its protective pouch. Using a small clean scissors, Disconnect the required number of tubes without disturbing the lids. Tap the tubes lightly on a surface and observe that the small white pellet is located on the bottom of the tube. Immediately return the unused tubes to the aluminum pouch together with the desiccator bag and tightly seal with the aid of sticky tape. Unused reaction tubes must be maintained in the original envelope with the desiccator in a dry area. Label the lid of each tube clearly for sample identification. Carefully open the lid of the reaction tubes one at a time. Using the disposable capillary tube or a micropipette, dispense 20 microliters of extracted DNA into the tube. This is performed by first depressing the capillary tube while outside of the DNA sample at a point distal to the black line tip, then placing the tip of the capillary tube into the DNA sample and releasing the pressure until liquid is drawn up to the level of the black line. Add the DNA to the appropriate tube containing the pellet reagents. Make sure that the entire content of the capillary tube has been emptied into the PC run reaction tube. Close the lid. Tap the tube on a surface to bring all the fluid to the bottom of the tube and incubate the mixture at room temperature for one minute. Place the reaction tube into the appropriate hole in the preheated block and incubate for one hour. Do not open the tube cover at any time during or at the end of the incubation period. At the end of the one hour incubation period, remove the tube from the heat block and analyze immediately with a disposable nucleic acid detection device. One disposable nucleic acid detection device is needed for each test. Open and remove the components of the detection device. The device consists of two plastic parts, a gray cartridge containing a plastic buffer bulb and a white chamber containing the lateral flow strip. Verify the presence of fluid in the bulb. At no stage of the process is it necessary to open the PC run reaction tube. Mark each chamber with the sample ID. Align the lid section of the PC run reaction tube with the wide partition located beside the buffer bulb. The lid of the tube has two protruding sections. These must be aligned with the intersection of the amplicon cartridge. If not placed properly, the lid will protrude from the side and you will not be able to close the cartridge. Apply light pressure to attach the reaction tube to the cartridge and then fold the cartridge in two and snap closed. Place the cartridge into the detection chamber with the bulb facing downwards and away from the chamber lever. Push the lever downwards until the chamber is locked. Wait for 15 to 30 minutes to read the results. Results read after 30 minutes are invalid. A valid test result must fulfill the following requirements.